Hey everyone, it's Maribel Blue and I am actually recording on top of what I recorded earlier. I did a blog on The Bachelor, uh, Real Housewives of Orange County, and of course, Married at First Sight. Now, I watched tonight's episode, which was called Dark Side of the Honeymoon. And I had to come in and blog this right away. I'm probably going to put it as a separate video apart from what I recorded earlier. But I have to tell you that Twitter was on fire tonight. With near me, so you can probably hear me better. But uh, what I was saying was that Twitter was on fire tonight. <laughs> Dr. Viviana was doing live tweeting, and of course, people were responding like back and forth with everything that's been going on with Alyssa and Chris. And I just want to say that she did reply to one of my tweets, and um, and I will read it to you. Uh, let me just. So uh, I I replied after her tweet that she wasn't drinking so that she could watch the episode and because she's going to need both hands and have all her faculties in order to, you know, have her thoughts, whatever. And then I said, instead of acting like Alyssa and Chris are having some bumps in the road, chalk it up as a loss. Not everything on paper means it's a match, which led to somebody else also replying, this was never a match on paper. This was once again for ratings drama and exposing us to abusive behavior. The experts are, are allowing it, is what I should say, not our. The experts are allowing it. And then... Um, and then we get another response here. Um, oh, from Dr. Viviana, who says they both said they thought it worked on paper. I'm like all over the place. So then I replied because I'm thinking I'm reading the tweet and I actually did like screenshots of it. What? So did Chris and Paige. I don't, I don't think anyone needs to be a therapist to see behind answering questions to match people up. Come on, Dr. Viviana. You know what's up. She's not into him. You know it. And everyone else that's watching does. And then, of course, this other guy chimed in. Um, he had made a comment and I'll pull that up. I think we can all agree physical attraction is just as important as the deep connection. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's me. <laughs> Oh my God, when I tell you it, it was just like, it was lit the F up. Okay, this is what he said. And Alyssa has also said that being attracted to her spouse is important to her. And Chris doesn't meet the physical description that she was promised. And then I had said, um, and that's when I was reading my tweet. I said, I think we can all agree physical attraction is just as important as a deep connection of communications, values, et cetera. It's not a matter of Chris good looking or not. I think he's cute, which I do. I think that Chris is a cute guy, but Alyssa doesn't, <laughs> you know, everybody has a taste. And I said, but again, that's me. And Dr. Viviana did reply in between those tweets, the big risk of this process. Okay, look, the fact of the matter is, is that when people are being paired up blindly, how many people have done these different dating sites and you're looking at pictures and you're infatuated with the person, you think they're hot and sexy, and then all of a sudden you meet them in real life and it's an entirely different story than what you're seeing on the picture. And trust me when I tell you, when the internet rolled out and I became a single woman, I was all over those dating sites. I went on a lot of dates back during those times. And a lot of the times, I would say about 97% of the time, the guys in the pictures were not who I met in real life. They put very old pictures of themselves. They put very young pictures of themselves. Some of them had hair in the pictures and then had toupees when I met them in real life. Believe me when I tell you, everybody wants to be impressive to the other person. Fast forward now, here we are in 2022. We have these different reality TV shows. We have this show, Married at First Sight. 
And you have these different experts that really hype up this situation. Oh, like they're on their honeymoon. And even though they're not traditional couples, they're still going to have to get to know each other and all this stuff. And it's like, no, like clearly we are seeing a couple that is not a couple. You have this girl crying her eyes out, but then at the same time, well, maybe you can, she's proposing to Chris in front of everybody and he doesn't even know it. Well, he could live in the apartment half of the time and the other half I'll go in there. Like for what? For what, Alyssa? Why would you do that? You're not into this guy at all. Just admit it, admit it and move on. How terrible is this? I feel sorry for her. I also feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for her in the sense that she has the producers talking in her ear. Well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why? Like, why? Why Why keep the suffering prolonged? You have this guy wondering, what the hell did he do that has this woman totally repulsed by my presence? Well. Why don't we start off with your friend who made that comment? Who knows? All I know is that I needed to, to come on here and say something. And here's the other thing. When Lindsay was busy making these smirk faces and putting her hand over her mouth, girlfriend, weren't you just like trashing your husband in last week's episode talking about how he's clogging the toilet and farting all over the place? And if they're not going to be lovey-dovey, then he needs to take it back a notch. Like, who are you? You're not an expert. You're just as messy as everybody else. Like, for real? Nobody there is an expert on any relationship, and neither am I, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that we're all sitting here watching this play out and we're all going to have an opinion on it. Whether people think that Alyssa is a B, whether people are thinking, oh my God, poor Chris, or the opposite, oh, poor Alyssa, and look at the way Chris is smirking and he has his face. How do you expect for one to react when you have a camera in your face? That's what it all comes down to. Look at the fiasco that happened with Chris and Paige. And Paige was still, I'm going to give it a try because God this and God put us together. God didn't put you together. It was a paper that you filled out with all of these questions and then they mishmashed both you and Chris together. And who knows why Chris wanted to be on TV in the first place. But he brought the drama and then some, okay? And made a fool out of himself on national television. So to avoid that, and according to next week's episode, because Pastor Cal meets both of them, asking them if they want a divorce, get it annulled and call it a day. There's no reason to prolong any kind of misery or any kind of suffering or any kind of tears, like nothing. There's no reason for that. She's not into him. That's what it all comes down to. So no, no matter what he says, even if he tells her the most beautiful things, he can read her beautiful poetry. At the end of the day, she's not into him. That's what it all comes down to. So let's move on from this. Let's see how the other couples are going to get together because there's already going on with drama with Jasmina and Michael. She's not liking the way he's coming across and communicating, etc. And who knows what's going to happen with Lindsay and Mark, even though I keep calling him Mike. Who knows if I did that before just now? That's also another hot mess. She's, she's the hot mess. <laughs> I don't think that Mark is. Mark has his hands full with somebody who, like, figure it out. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to say words right now because I am really hyped up with just everything that I watched tonight. And I was like, I need to come on here and talk about this. and really address this issue of watching somebody he's suffering on national television, watching them go through a relationship that they really don't want to be in. And how sad is that? Yes, Dr. Viviana ended one of her tweets talking about that this is a, a risky process. And I understand that. I also understand that 
how somebody can view somebody else being attractive to them will not see it the same way. Like I said before, I think Chris is a cute guy, but Alyssa's not going to think that. And who knows what, what physical things that she's feeling just being in his presence. She can't even stay in the room with him for that long. She just seems so repulsed by him. Who knows? But like I said before, and I'll say this again, this relationship <laughs> is not going to work out. She can say whatever she wants. She can talk about moving into the apartment part-time. Like for what? Why do you want to get to know the other couples for? They're too busy trying to get to know one another. This is not about you and Katina or you and Jasmina and, and you and Lindsay. And who wants to get to know Lindsay anyway? I'm Come on. Ah. <sighs> Like I said before, um, when this show first started, there were going to be more hot messes than actual couples that were going to be successful. But that's the risk that anybody takes. It's the same way like The Bachelor. So that's it for now. <laughs> I spoke my piece and um, I'm not going to do any editing on this. I'm just going to put this video up. Definitely leave your comments down below and let me know what you're thinking um, about this, this show, this relationship, what you've seen in the past. Um, do you think it works? Do you think it doesn't work? Like, I just want to hear your thoughts. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Maribel Blue signing off. And remember, be good to yourself, be good to each other. And most importantly, take care of you. Bye, everybody.